Hi friends, welcome to Knowledge Castle. Today I am going to discuss about RSA NetWitness. It is one of the SIM tool. SIM is like a, it is a security information and event management. We use SIM like a, like it is only for one type of detection. Complete, we go to into, we do go into integrate a complete uh, uh, IT infrastructure uh, devices like a network network devices and the IDS, IPS, even the OIS related servers related. Completely, we going to integrate in our SIM. SIM tool for that completely analyzing even we can use a firewall but the thing is like uh, in the firewall we, can, we could not able to uh, check the complete every each and every end, end user data we can, could not able to check on that so for that for saving complete uh, for identifying even every end user data we going to use a SIM tool in the SIM like I am going to tell you about uh, RSA NetWitness today like I am going to explain first about the architecture of the RSA NetWitness. See, we are going to collect the logs from all the complete uh, uh, IT infrastructure devices. So we are going to get the logs from all the devices to the collector. We are using the, even we can use the physical device and the same way virtual, virtual collector. We can, by integrating all the devices, we can uh, pull the logs by using the different uh, uh, different devices and uh, different protocols like uh, syslog based windows windows based and the odbc different type of protocols we can use for integrating on that from the collector it just going to pull the logs from all the devices it pushes the logs to the decoder the decoder work is like uh, it uh, we can do passing and all like uh, um, every Every device have different uh, passes for uh, viewing the different uh, format. So the decoder pulls the log. Uh, I mean, the collector pushes the logs to the decoder. The decoder is going to add. When in the decoder, we can do the passing and the aggregation. The passing is like we can able to view in a, in the normal format. Like whatever the logs are coming on that, it uh, differentiate the different uh, networks or I mean uh, OAS or whatever the servers. It going to differentiate the log format. In that again, you're going to do the aggregation also. Like aggregation in the sense, like uh, how can we can to tell like uh, aggregation in the aggregation we can do. Uh, I mean like reduce the count. Same like if we have ten to different ten to fifteen logs, we, we if we get the same type of logs with for that we can able to reduce the count on that. Like uh, it already for the, it going to use, reduce the space for that. So yeah, we can do the aggregation in the same way normalization like uh, in the normalization also we, the format will be the completely different. See I can able to show you the log will be in this format. We could not able to read this format. So even the normalization going to happen in that. And the uh, decoder is going to push us the logs to the concentrator. The concentrator, the work is going to like uh, it is a completely human readable format. Like uh, we can't uh, read the complete data like individually. See like a uh, subtype and uh, LDAP, whatever the my, uh, data it might be number one. What is it called? We could not able to read in that. So it going to convert like uh, meta keys. See we can able to see your session IDs, the time, size, payload. But with these only we can able to identify what the log is, what what the activity got happened, what the source IP, destination IP in the service. These are all we can able to view in this format. In the concentrator, again, it going to the ESA going to collect the logs from the concentrator. ESA is like event stream analytics. The it is going to we can whatever the logs we are coming based on the based on our requirement, we can able to create the policies on that. The policies in the sense like uh, we can call in the sim we will call it as a use case or even even policies i can show a sample policy you for you see the, this is the sample policy on this like device ip whatever the logs which you are coming over here see and then we can take it as a so ip source or ip destination even session ids we can't take the session ids because it is the unique session id we can't take the session ids even the service and source and destination even device type device class that will be the complete complete uh, one
ESA is like uh, we are going to do for uh, it is for policy based just for creating the use cases which we call in uh, SIEM I can show you a sample example for that like see there is a device IP is like a 10.20 10.1 and the ID is like account login failure and the outcome is failure if see this is like a, if it matches all the three conditions then only we, we, we do going to get an alert on that with that we can raise to the alert to our uh, I mean like to if it is the network team related we can send to the network team if it is the OS team any windows team related we can send to them based on the department we can able to send send the alert and next SA is like it is the console security analytics it is a console we can able to view here web console the complete alerts and all which you going to get in our console in console we can able to see all these tabs like in our respond investigate monitor configure admin in the respond tab is just for create for raising the alerts on we'll get to over here and the investigation is like completely we can analyze this uh, raw log and the same way meta keys which completely we can we'll do in our uh, analysis investigation part in the monitor is like a dashboard we can able to see how uh, the sample i can show you just a minute this is the like a console we can able to see, monitor all the devices and all the config config is for uh, creating the use case just now i have told you for this this is the tabs and all we, we can be able to view here and the admin this is a complete admin part we for a security purpose even the creating the users any configuration related completely we can able to view on admin tab next uh, is like see the thing is like uh, the in from the console whatever the alerts which we have raised in our uh, in our respond tab If the alerts went to our, uh, for the ticketing tool which we are using whatever the ticketing tool we, which we are going to use for that the alerts going to push by using the help of uh, UCF unified collection framework it pushes the uh, alerts to ticket uh, for tickets uh, for generating the tickets from there we can uh, directly we can alert uh, send the alerts to the de individual department this is the ticketing tool which we are using and uh, the Secop web server for the ticketing tool what we are using for that there is a web server and the same way there is a Secop DB for that there is a database which uh, the alerts are going to save in that and uh, of course this is the web console what we have discussed over here in the security analytics yeah. and this is the archive which is going to store like uh, from the decoder complete data data going to is like uh, archive is like uh, in a decoder or in concentrator we can able to view the logs till 15 to 20 days after that it going to it pushes to the archiver like we can in archiver we are like uh, it is uh, 5 years or 4 years of uh, warrant we can able to see the data complete data in archiver after 15 days it going to send to the archiver in the archiver we can able to see any historical logs or any traffic which if you want to analyze the logs or past any if you find any suspicious activity that if you want to see any individual server data in a historical data database in archiver we can able to see the complete data in that and we can analyze we can do threat hunting or any forensic analysis completely in our in archiver by seeing the data which we can retrieve the data from archiver to again concentrator or decoder from there we can able to analyze the data uh, from there again it that the complete archiver data going to store in a uh, sand storages in the stand storages it's the, it's the complete it's a big uh, topic that we'll do some separate one more video on that in the stand storage is like it will be the data will go to store in the dbs and we from there again we have a backup servers like uh, tape libraries what uh, even we can store in the tapes in the tape libraries uh, like it will be like 5 to 10 db tapes each for that uh, even uh, if any disaster recovery get occurred the back uh, the backup uh, tape library is going to help for that if any issues comes in our sand storage and all the tape library we can uh, again we can do retrieve data we can do the data retrievation on that you guys 
get some sort of confusion by seeing this complete architecture you can you have for sample simplified format i can show you over here see the logs from all the servers or checkpoint firewall from any windows related any syslog format for uh, syslog is for uh, linux based and snmp for 20, uh, for 25 for odpc related complete data we're going to pull over to the decoder in from decoder we can able to see again into the concentrator in the home human readable format from there again we get in uh, sa even in uh, esa it got missed over here in sa we can able to it is like i have told you this is for a console see this is the simplest form this is the end of the session hope you guys like the video if you have any queries kindly comment below please do like and subscribe for more best videos thank you guys